Welcome everyone to this new video tutorial regarding um, a new chapter in the book Getting to Know ArcGIS and this chapter is called Analyzing Feature Relationships and therefore I've already opened here the exercise number 10a and um, yeah what we need to do here is something like yeah, site location analysis maybe um, in the book, we are explained that we have to find a new suitable location for a restaurant. And due to the fact that customers won't travel so far and they would uh, benefit from other locations maybe, um, um, we have some criteria to meet for that location. So, first criteria is uh, that it should be um, not more than or the corresponding um, neighborhood given by that shapefile layer here um, shouldn't be more than half a mile from the next freeway which is given by this. You can easily have a look on the on the distances by using this measure tool here. Um, maybe you need to adjust the um, the um, system used for measuring like miles or kilometers um, but you will get an idea about how far each element is from the freeway and by using this we are not taking into account some kind of uh, travel distances uh, but we will only have a look on um, line of sight distances like, like using a helicopter or something like that for the real good persons who would like to travel directly from the freeway to their near, near to their next restaurant so how to do that um well it's easy um as you might suggest you will have or you have here the selection tab over uh, uh, in the upper part of the of the arc, arc map um application and you can use select by attributes which we have done before so you can easily say okay i would like to use this 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 and this um shapefile or neighborhood but there's also the select by location um, possibility. So first of all, make sure that uh, your interactive selection method is uh, set to create a new selection and then click on select by location. So what we would like to do is we would like to select features from the layer neighborhood and this, uh, the yeah, selected features should be in um, distance to the source layer feature. The source layer feature is in our case here freeways and it should be within a distance of the source layer feature of half a mile. So these three steps we have a target layer, the elements in neighborhoods should be not more than half a mile away from freeways. Let's click on OK and what you can see here is now each um, polygon that is nearer than half a mile from the next freeway. And by looking at half a mile it means or it probably means that the um, vertexes of each polygon, the term vertex means that each polygon is set up by uh, different points like this, this, this and this and so on and each vertex um, can be measured in a distance to another vertex and so this means maybe nearest distance or smallest distance from vertex to vertex. So these are or these neighborhoods are meeting our criteria and what we will do now is we will use a second criteria to refine our search here and the second criteria, criteria is that this restaurant should be uh, in a neighborhood where there are already some um, yeah, shopping centers available. So you can easily go with your analysis through this one and say okay this one, this one, this one, and this one. But especially if you're looking here, yeah, okay you have to zoom in very very carefully to get an idea whether it is or this belongs to the neighborhood Grand Wood Streets or what is it called here in downtown. So um, to do that more easily or more convenient you would also use 
selection but what we will do now is we will select from the current selection so we will refine it and um, you can also choose this one by using select location and then, then you would like to select features from neighborhoods we are looking into another source layer we are looking into shopping centers and well we will select features from neighborhoods where the target layer features contain the source layer feature so now we are looking on polygons which have the shopping centers inside of them so we'll click on OK now uh, what was done here is we refined our search and now there are only one two three four five six uh, possible areas or neighborhoods where our where our new stylish restaurant should be located so this is it for the moment in the next exercise number 10 B we're looking on uh, combining attribute and location queries um, to refine our search more precisely to a given um, location. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned and click on the advertisement if you liked or if you like my videos. Thank you very much.